Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. Welcome to Pampered Chef Live. We are so glad you are here with us. Pampered Chef Live is a weekly virtual cooking event that we share with customers, party guests, and hosts in the U.S. and Canada. Drop an emoji if your Pampered Chef consultant invited you here tonight. If you're a guest, if you're in a party, if you're hosting a party, we're so glad you're here. Thanks to your consultant for inviting you. Thanks to you for saying yes and joining us. I'm Michael, and I am your moderator this evening. Share in the chat where you are joining from, uh, near, far, U.S., Canada. Let us know. We're glad to have you from all across the map. Uh, during the next 20 to 30 minutes, we'll be joining Michelle from her home kitchen as she helps us get ready for summer holidays. I think there's a few of them just around the corner. Summer holidays and get-togethers with some refreshing snacks and sips. So it's going to be great to get you equipped for whatever you've got going on in the next few weeks. Later on, we're going to be spinning the wheel to be to give three lucky winners some new summer products. And if you're watching on Facebook, be sure to register for this event on Zoom so that you can be eligible for tonight's giveaways. A couple other things we need to talk about before we dive in, just a few nuts and bolts. First of all, there's a handout that has the recipes and featured products that are being used tonight, and it was sent to you via email in the email that you got from Zoom. Look in there for that. And just in case you missed that or you didn't see it come through, you're going to get another email after the event from Zoom and Pampered Chef. And it's going to have that handout again, and it'll have a link to watch the recording of tonight's session. Send that link to somebody who missed out, somebody who might want to join another one in the future, your friends, family, show them what's, what they're missing out on and all the fun we're having. We're glad that you're here to have some fun. So after this demo, Michelle will be answering questions that um, about parts of the things that you are curious about. If you've got questions that you want to ask, drop it in the Q&A section of, the, of Zoom. If you drop it in the normal chat, we may not see it, but if you use the Q&A function, we'll make sure to see your question and we'll do our best to get it answered for you. And we'll tee some up for Michelle as well. And Michelle's also going to talk a little bit about some of the products that she's using. And we're going to hear also about some monthly offers that we have going on in June, which, wow, June is almost wrapped up, pretty wild. After this event, in that email that you get, there's also going to be a link to take a survey. Your feedback is so important to us. And it's also could be valuable to you because we pull one uh, additional winner randomly from the survey feedback that we get. So if you want a, another chance to win a new product, fill out that survey. Let us know what you thought. You can be honest with us. We want your feedback. Lastly, if the chat is getting a little too crazy, a little too fast paced for you, if you are getting overwhelmed and you just want to focus on this, you don't want to deal with the chat, you can mute your notifications by clicking into the chat on the bottom, click the arrow at the top that says mute notifications, okay? So with all of that said, it is time for us to get started. I'm excited to learn from Michelle tonight. So grab a beverage, relax, and let's get cooking. So take it away, Michelle. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm so excited to have you here. I am going to be sharing some awesome recipes that you can bring to your 4th of July or your Canada Day weekend activities. Um, and you know what? These recipes are good for the entire summer. I don't know about you guys, but we are in our last week of school this week. So starting on Monday, I have not one, but two kids at home, and they absolutely love to snack. I call it like snack o'clock. We talk about snacks, we eat snacks, I'm prepping snacks. I'm like a snack provider. That should be like my title in the household, master snack provider. Um, so some of the things that I'm gonna show you tonight are really great to bring to gatherings, but they're really great to bring with you to the beach, on the boat, anywhere you can think of, if you want something just to grab quickly and go, park dates, whatever. Um, so before we get started, just to give you a little bit about me, um, my name is Michelle and I have been with Pamper Chef going on seven years this July. And do you wanna know a secret? I would have never joined if my sister didn't ask me. So my sister is also a consultant. So if you think that you can't join because your sister's a consultant, your aunt's a consultant, your best friend's a consultant, I'm here to tell you, you can, because you know what's even better than being a consultant with Pampered Chef? Doing it with somebody you know. Um, I've made so many friends along the way, 
but she has been the person that has answered my questions, answered my phone calls, and I've learned so much from her as well. So after this call, I want you to jump on the phone or send a text message to that person and be like, I'm in. Hit your consultant up that's been asking you a million times and tell them it's for you. All right, so what are we gonna do tonight? We are making two recipes. One is going to be the strawberry cheesecake dip. And let me tell you, when I was making this earlier this week, um, my daughter said, mom, can you make this every day? It's that good. And the second thing we're gonna do today is we're making a strawberry lemonade quencher. Um, and I'm gonna give you some alternatives to it as well to dress it up or dress it down, however you like it. Uh, one of the feature products that I'm gonna to show today is our cool and serve. So I want you to drop in the chat. Do you have any cool and serves at home? Do you know what the cool and serve is? If not, that's okay. Cause I am going to explain exactly why you need it in your kitchen and why it's gonna be your best friend all summer long. So should we get started? So like I said, the first thing we're gonna do is a strawberry cheesecake dip. This is going to make you so popular at your 4th of July and your Canada Day weekend gatherings. To do this, we're gonna be using our manual food processor and we've got all kinds of fresh fruit and some dippers as well. So I went ahead and I actually cleaned my strawberries in our colander. This is a stainless steel colander. It's the smallest one of the two. You can get them as a set or you can get them individually. And I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but they've got these cute little Camper Chef spoons all around the top. So if that's not a reason to get one, there's a few other hidden features. Underneath, there's like a rubber silicone base on it so that when you're working on the kitchen, it really doesn't slip all that much. And the handles are really ergonomically friendly to hold underneath the drain when you're washing your fruits. Um, and you can transport it wherever you want. So please tell me that you clean your fruits and vegetables before you serve them, especially to guests. I know when we're going around the grocery store, sometimes the kids are picking at them and eating them, but really give them a good rinse. These are fresh local strawberries and you don't even wanna know what came off of them when I washed them. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're taking our quick slice and I'm gonna grab about two or three of these freshly washed strawberries and I'm putting them right onto our quick slice. So if you look at our quick slice, you'll see that there are these lines that go down the side. I'm not sure if you can see that from there. And then there's these serrated blades underneath. And what it's gonna do is it's going to slice the strawberries into little thin slices. So you just line it up, push it down. Look at that, that was so easy. This is really great for things like mushrooms, peppers. Like if you don't wanna sit there and slice every single little pepper up, throw them on the quick slice and you get these perfect slices all the time. Let me know in the chat, do you have a quick slice at home? Or what do you use to slice your strawberries? Maybe you use our cup slicer. That's another great alternative. Um, so once you've sliced it once, you're gonna place those right back on the quick slice again. And this is the feature I really like about them. You're gonna cut it again. So it's gonna kind of chunk it for you. So now it looks like I just sliced it, but when I picked it up, I've got all these little chunks of strawberries. So we're gonna set that aside because we don't quite need those right now. So just in a one cup prep bowl, I set aside and throw a piece here and there. So I just have them in a one cup prep bowl and I am going to cover them in a half a tablespoon of sugar. So we're gonna let that sit. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna break down the strawberries just a little bit and create that really yummy, juicy, fresh taste. So we're gonna set that one aside. All right. Now we're gonna take the remaining strawberries, so about eight ounces. And if you're not exactly sure what eight ounces is, I like to use our digital scale. So you just turn it on once it's down, let it read. And I have a two cup prep bowl here that I'm gonna sit on top of my digital scale. Now it's reading like 13.19 ounces. I need eight ounces of strawberries. So I'm gonna hit that tear button and it brings it back down to zero. So what it does is it totally eliminates any weight that's on it from the dish that you're using. And we need eight ounces. So make sure I have the right amount here. 
And you know what? When you're prepping something like this, this recipe is really easy to prep with the kids. So if you have kids at home that want to help, something like this is really easy to do with them because you're not around any hot stoves. You're not around anything that they can really cut themselves on. So they love to do this. All right. So this little, this big one right here brought us over the edge. So let's move that aside and add maybe a smaller one. And you know what? If you're a little over eight ounces, that's fine. because It's going to taste that much better. Okay, so we've got our eight ounces. Now what we want to do is we want to puree these strawberries because these are going to go into our base of our dip. So you don't want like really big chunks. Um, so I'm taking those eight ounces and I'm putting them into our manual food processor. So the manual food processor has these three amazing blades that are going to process this and puree them perfectly for us. There we are. So have you had a frustrated day or are you looking to get some anger out? Sometimes I call this the stress reliever because oh, my nails are, you are gonna pump it. It's manual, it doesn't need electricity. It's super easy to bring in a few places if you wanna have any temper. All right, so another really good use for this is like if you're looking to hide vegetables in anything, peppers, red peppers, onions, throw them in here. It's going to chop them up so finely. Nobody even knows it's there. Um, the kids love to use this too. And I despise cutting onions. If you throw it in here, your eyes are protected. So let's just puree it for about 15 more seconds. Now it's got this really cool lock feature on it. So it locks the handle in place. And I'm just gonna take my little mini scraper here. And then you can just give that a wash with your dishcloth. You don't wanna soak it um, in the dishwasher or in the, in the sink. Just give it a wash with your wet cloth. So let's just see, make sure we don't have any huge chunks there. It looks pretty good and it smells delicious. So. What's one of your favorite dishes that you like to bring to a cookout, to a holiday, to a gathering? Drop it down in the comments and let us know. Everybody's looking for some awesome ideas for these upcoming holidays. All right, so now what we're gonna do is, okay. I'm just gonna throw these strawberries into our glass mixing bowl. Um, if you haven't checked out the outlet lately, I suggest you go and check out the outlet. There's some really great mixing bowls in the outlet right now. There's a plastic mixing bowl. There's the glass mixing bowl set. We have had our glass mixing bowls since I started as a consultant, and we still use them every day and absolutely love them. So now that we've got the strawberries out of the manual food processor, we're gonna actually process the rest of the ingredients all together right in here. And you don't have to worry about cleaning it because everything's gonna get mixed in together at the end. So we've got um, our eight ounces of low fat cream cheese. So when you're putting it in here, now this is room temperature cream cheese. You wanna spread it out around the blades a little bit because if you pour it all onto one side, um, you might have a hard time mixing it. So we've got that in there. Three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar. So we're gonna pour that in. And then we're gonna put two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So I've been using our double strength Madagascar vanilla. So you actually can use less than it calls for because it is double strength. And I just had, there we go, our measuring spoon. So I'm gonna use about one and a half teaspoons instead of the two. And you could actually get away with one as well if you wanted. All right, so this is where it's gonna start coming together a little bit more. Like I said, I love the manual food processor because you can use it with electricity. So if you're in a camper um, or you're looking to do this out on the deck on a nice warm day, you can. So 
and you want to process this until it's smooth. So depending on your cream cheese, it might take a little bit more muscle. All right, let's check that out. No, it still needs some more processing. You can also do this recipe in the deluxe in the scale mixer. So we're just going to make sure we don't have any large, large chunks in there. One little one that we're gonna work out a little bit here. Make sure, there we go. So you definitely want your cream trees a little bit softer because nobody wants to dip in there with like a cracker or um, a piece of fruit and get a whole chunk of cream cheese. I mean, it's good, but is it that good? There we go. And then the last ingredient that we're going to put in here is one cup of plain, low-fat Greek yogurt. And we're going to mix this all together in the glass mixing bowl. Let's say that is good for now. Yeah, perfect. So, you're gonna take that blade out and clean everything off of the blade. Oh, there we go. Now it is sharp, so please be careful when you're removing that. You can just remove it and put it right into your sink. And I'm just gonna give this a stir to make sure that it's well mixed. That's great. And now I'm gonna put our one cup of low-fat Greek yogurt right in and just fold it in. I'm just folding it right in. It doesn't need to be mixed with the hand mixer at all. Now I did leave the green yogurt in the fridge because you do want to keep it chilled. And that's where the colon serves are going to come into play. Oh, I think I just put cream cheese on my forehead. You know you're cooking well when you get food on your forehead. Normally it's the kids from taste testing, but tonight it might just be me. All right, so we're going to do one cup. Now, what is your favorite measuring product that Pamper Chef owns or your favorite measuring product in general? Have you tried our measure rolls or our easy ring measuring cups? Let us know below what it is that you really like to use when you're measuring out your goods. Maybe you have a specific product that you like for different dishes. All right, we're folding this in. Perfect. If you guys can smell this, the vanilla coming out of this and the strawberries in the bowl. Yeah, the measuring cups are great. The measuring spoons, the adjustable measuring spoons, they're all so fantastic. All right, now I'm just gonna transfer this into our strawberries. You guys, this is it. This is done once we mix this all together. Other than topping it, that's how easy this can be. All right, so let's give this one a good mix. Make sure we get the strawberries in there. This is where that beautiful pink color is gonna come from. When you fold those strawberries in. All right, so let's talk about my favorite product that we have in our lineup for summer products. Um, now these are products that are available all year round, but you know what, when that warm weather hits, I honestly take out the gel packs in my cool and serve and I have a place for them in my freezer. We've got different size cool and serves. So I'm gonna show off a couple of those right now and I'm gonna show you how I like to fill them and keep them filled. So the very first one that we're using tonight is our one quart serving bowl. So this is the smallest serving bowl. And you'll notice that they all come with covers, all come with dishes inside. And underneath the serving bowls, you have this gel pack. So these gel packs, when they're frozen, will keep your food cold for four to six hours, even if it's sitting outside. 
So we were at a birthday party this weekend and the mother of the, of the child who was having the birthday party was like, oh, I better bring those dips inside because they're going to be sitting out in the sun. And I just looked at her and she's like, I know I should have asked you to bring your cool and serve. So what we're going to do is we're filling this up with our dip. And you've seen the scraper and how much it's scraping from the bowl. It's not going to leave anything in there. We want every last bit to make it into the cool and serve. So like I said, these do come in two different sizes, one quart and two and a half quarts. Um, they each have their own gel pack and they can just sit in your freezer on the shelf, ready to go when you need them. All right, so look at that. Does that not look delicious? Now, don't forget, we had these beautiful little strawberries that we cut up and all we're gonna do is sprinkle them on top and just that step there brings it up even a notch. It just, it smells delicious, it is delicious and we just garnished it a little bit. So what you're gonna do is you just pop the cover on gathering and you could pair it with some graham crackers, some gluten-free s'more cookies, some fresh fruit, whatever you'd like to do. And I'm going to show you how you can present them in the different cool and serves in just a few minutes as well. So we're just going to pop this aside. We've got our gel pack, but look at that, you guys, what do you think? Is that something that you might make? We love it. It won't last very long. All right. So next up, we're filling up our cool and serve. We're going to do this really quickly because this is how quick we do it in our household. So right now I've already got in a large cool and serve grapes and cherries. So I used our cherry and olive pitter to take the pits out of the cherries. Super easy to eat. We're ready to go. And we've got our grapes. Now we're going to fill it up with some pineapple and watermelon. It also has our small cool and serve. I have both out here because I know with the pineapple and watermelon, I'm going to need both to fill um, with the amount that I have. And then I know by the end of, what are we today, Tuesday, Thursday, it's probably all gonna be gone because my kids just love fresh fruit. And if you have fresh fruit already prepped in the fridge, the chances that they're gonna pick that over something that might not be as healthy is a lot larger. Okay, so let's start with the pineapple. So we just have a fresh pineapple here and I'm using our stainless steel chef's knife um, you'll see the emblem where the PC, where the PC emblem is. That's where you want to hold your thumb and your finger to cut through the pineapple. It's a nice firm grip. What's really great about this is it's one piece of stainless steel. Um, it's forged stainless steel, super sharp, cuts through everything. All right. So we're cutting the top off. We're cutting off the bottom. Now from here, you can use the pineapple wedger. You can stand up your pineapple. And you can press down. But sometimes I have a really hard time getting over the top and using my muscles. I know they're big, right? But they're not that big. So what I like to do to make the pineapple wedger even easier to use is I just cut that pineapple right down in half. And now I have two pieces. So I'm going to slide my knife off to the side. Grab my pineapple wedger. You guys, I love this thing. I use it all the time. Now you're gonna see that there's a center piece right here. You wanna line up that center with the center in your pineapple. And you're gonna slide through right over the top. So I'm just gonna move this piece. I'm actually gonna go this way. And then get right over top just like this and push down. This is why I cut it in half. And then we take this base, we're gonna pop it down underneath and we're gonna push right down into it and listen. Oh my goodness, am I lined up? There we go. Did you hear that? It pops it right up. So, a couple of tips when you're using the pineapple wedger. You wanna pull the rind out of the pineapple wedger. You never wanna go from the bottom and pull down because it is sharp. So always pull upwards and then your hands are nowhere near the blades. All right, so we've got two pieces here. Look at that. Perfectly cut and you've got your center. So then we just take the rind of the pineapple 
and you can throw it in the compost. I was doing some research on pineapples the other day, and I actually found that you can boil down pineapple rind into like a soup base or into a tea, and it's actually really good for you. So what we like to do is we just take our chef's knife, and you can leave it in these awesome little half moons, and then it looks really great, and they're easy to grab. But if you have little kids at home, maybe you want to change it up and you want to cube them up. Or another really great thing that I've been trying lately is, I'll show you here on these last few pieces. And I'm going to cut this one up after. We'll save time for tonight. Um, if you take your crinkle cutter, so the crinkle cutter is beveled on both edges and you can just cut it down. I'm going to show you what we get. Really fun for young little kids. Pineapple fries. So these are great for dipping in that dip that we just made. Um, they're great for saving some storage space as well. You can just have your little pineapple fries in there. Anything crinkle-fied, yes, that's a term, gets eaten quicker in this household. So you want to crinkle fry anything and everything that you can. This works great on turnip, it works great on cheese, it works great um, on cucumbers, whatever you might need to look a little fancier. All right, so there's our pineapple. So again, you would just continue on and do the same thing with the second half of the pineapple and with your pineapple whip. Next up, we've got our watermelon. All right. So. Again, we're gonna take our chef's knife and we're gonna make some really fun pineapple pieces, or sorry, watermelon pieces. All right. So the first way that we like to cut our watermelon is we cut it in half and we face it down. Flat surface down means it's not gonna move on you and you can cut it a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna take my knife and I'm going to slice my pineapple. Oh my goodness, this isn't a pineapple, it's a watermelon. Slice my watermelon. Now, do a 90 degree turn. You can turn your whole cutting mat if that makes it easier. And you're gonna cut down again. one juicy watermelon. What are some of the things that you guys like to use watermelon for? Do you just eat it as is? Do you put it on a salad? Do you make some drinks with them? What do you like to use watermelon for? All right, so here's the fun part. After you've done that, when you pull it out, it's a beautiful watermelon stick. So we're gonna throw a couple of those onto our cool and serve as well. And then I want to show you guys this. So we've got multiple things to try now, all in our cool and serve. We could take some of our dip from our cool and serve and transfer it right into the middle. Just like that. So you could have this as backup that you could keep refilling as people are eating it. And now you have something for them to dip their fruits and vegetables in. Again, like I said, I also like to use graham crackers as a dipper. All right, last up for this evening, we're gonna a really quick lemon, uh, strawberry lemonade quencher. And this is how quick this is gonna come together. So. In our family size, it's their pitcher. So this comes in two sizes. This is the larger of the two. We have 10 cups of water. In the Easy Read measuring cup, all I've done is I took 
a strawberry daiquiri non-alcoholic frozen drink and I let it defrost. There we go. We're gonna pour that in there. Just like that. We've got three quarters of a cup of sugar. And then I've got four lemons. Side here. And in this bowl, I'm just gonna squeeze our lemons out. And we want to fully squeeze them out so we have at least a cup of fresh lemons. I have a backup lemon in case we don't quite get a cup, but I have a feeling that we're going to. All right, so we're taking our lemon. Your instinct would be that you wanna throw it in this way, but you actually want to throw it downwards. And then we are going to squeeze all that juice out. You guys, I am getting a workout and it's like 9.30 here at night with the time change. All right. No one's complaining, right? Close those rings. So you're gonna keep doing that until you get one cup. Now this is our two cup measuring cup. So we want about half of this to be full. Cut our other lemons. We're almost there. Now, you'll notice that I didn't add any ice into the quick stir pitcher. I like to add the ice to the cup afterwards so that it's not diluting it at all. You're just gonna add it and keep it nice and fresh. And then again, we're gonna garnish this with a strawberry on top. All right, we're almost there. Do two more. All right, who's got the lemon press at home? If you need more information on any of these products, make sure that you reach out to your consultant. We'll do one more here. And ask for more information. It can definitely help you out. Some of these products are also on sale until the end of the month. All right, here we go. Now watch this do its magic. So all we're doing is we're just gonna mix it up. Just like that. Now, if you're bringing this to a family gathering and you want it just to be like this, just a refresher, then you're gonna pour it right from the pitcher to your cup. You can add a nice little strawberry on top, put a little slice down the top, right onto the cover of your drink. Oh, where did that slice go? There we go. And then lastly, we're gonna just add in some ice to keep it nice and cold. You wanna give it a little change, add just one ounce of white rum to it, or if you wanna make it alcoholic for your party guests, then you can add um, about a quarter to a third of a cup of rum right to the 10 ounces, of, 10 cups of water. All right, guys, so that's what I've got for you tonight. Can you imagine showing up to your next outdoor gathering with a tray full of goodies like this, some quick little refreshers, and telling everybody that you made it in like under 30 minutes. It's gonna serve us well for the next couple of days because the kids are gonna eat this alive. If, all right, so that's it for tonight. Thank you so much for joining me in my home. If you have any questions, make sure you put them in the Q&A, but we're gonna pass this right back to Michael. All right, thank you so much, Michelle. I was incredibly impressed with your knife skills and definitely need to take a knife tutorial from you because your skills were masterful. And uh, love all the different ways, ways I had absolutely never thought of, of how to cut and prep things. So thank you for that. Uh, just a couple quick announcements, and then I'll have some questions for you, Michelle. Um, 
uh, just a reminder that if you're wondering where the recipe is for any of this, you're going to get an email after this event that will have the recipe and the recording of tonight's session. Uh, it'll be in the handout. So look for that. You should have, if, and there was also an email beforehand. So hopefully one of the two makes it to your inbox and then you can get that recipe and go from there. Um, Michelle mentioned a sale that we have going on, and I want to talk to you about that just very briefly. Uh, we do indeed have a sale going on, and it is almost over because June, is, this is a month-long sale that we've had going on for June. So talk to your consultant about any one of these bundles uh, to pick up. These are all great for entertaining, for hosting parties, for showing up to a party and being a rock star. Uh, all of these are on sale without a discount code. So uh, you've got until the end of the month to grab uh, some uh, discount on these bundles. And thank you, Michelle, for showing us some of these as well. Um, in addition to that, uh, we've been talking a lot about our coffee maker, our deluxe coffee machine. Uh, and this is a really exciting product that can make coffee many different ways, including Keurig K-cups or Nespresso pods. Uh, as well as um, the K-cup pods. Did I say that already? I think I did. There are two ways to get the deluxe coffee machine in June. And that is if you host a party, you can get the deluxe coffee machine for 60% off. Or you could become a consultant and earn the coffee machine for free when you become a Pampered Chef consultant in June. So you've got a couple more days in June to uh, to say yes and work towards this awesome prize. Uh, we're really excited about it. Been enjoying some good coffee around the office, at the home office, and uh, it's just so, so easy. So this is very fun. Now, speaking of becoming a consultant, if this is something that you've ever considered or if you're considering it for the first time, in just a couple minutes, about nine minutes from now, uh, we are going to have something called Discover Pampered Chef. This will happen on our Facebook pages, US and Canada. And this is a great way to sign on in a totally non-committal way and just hear from some consultants, hear about their experiences, ask questions, and just connect with others, make some friends. Sign on for Discover Pampered Chef just a few minutes after this at 7.45 Central Time on our Facebook pages. So that'll be coming shortly after this, excuse me. All right, now, one of the last parts before we get to our Q&A, something else that I think most people are pretty excited about and uh, might be looking for here uh, is our time to spin the wheel. So we are going to spin the wheel to see who is going to win some summer products tonight. So we have picked some winners from our registration uh, on Zoom. The first winner tonight is Irene Linford. Irene Linford, congratulations. You are going to be receiving in the mail. Let's see. The electric milk frother, awesome product for making various kinds of coffee drinks. Congratulations, Irene Linford. You're going home with the electric milk frother. So now our second winner is Catherine Schoenfeld. Catherine, Catherine Schoenfeld, you are a second winner and you will be receiving. Let's see. Oh, our Java chip frappe mix. This is a delicious, delicious. You can use it in coffee. You could use it for shakes. Really tasty. So enjoy the Java chip frappe mix, Catherine Schoenfeld. We've got one more winner tonight, and that winner is Bobby Lambert. Bobby Lambert, you are a lucky winner, number three tonight, and you will be receiving... Da -da -da -da. The Cup Slicer, so handy, so versatile, use it in so many different ways. Really, really useful for cutting small things very quickly and efficiently. Congratulations, Bobby Lambert. You are our final winner for tonight. So um, with all that said, now I think it's time to just turn to a few questions for you, Michelle. Uh, so we've got a few queued up that I want to ask you. So first of all, uh, you talked about rinsing and washing your fruits and vegetables do you have a particular way you like to do that? And one, this person in particular was curious if you use vinegar and water or what do you use? I don't, I actually use a product um, from a company that is for food or fruit and produce. Mm -hmm. um, I just give it a quick little spritz and then I let it rinse in water, fresh water. And then I just let them drain right in our colanders, right in our sink. Right. Um, and if it's a big batch of stuff, then I will normally run water in our sink and then I'll spritz it and then I'll actually get in there and move it all around and let it sit for a few minutes and then drain it. 
I haven't tried the vinegar. Um, I'm scared that the kids would maybe be able to pick up on the taste. <laughs> so I am really, really, really um, cautious about adding any different taste. I've got a six and a three-year-old. Yep. yep. I have a six and three year old as well. And yes, they would, they would pick out vinegar very quickly, but luckily there's lots of ways to clean fruit. So thanks yeah. for that tip. Uh, do you happen to have any tips or secrets for picking the perfect watermelon or knowing when your watermelon is ripe? Um, any specific tips? I find we go through our watermelon so quickly, so we don't have it in our house bowl for very long because the second <laughs> up, it is gone. Um, but I always look it over. I tend to buy the full ones because they tend to be the best price right now. Um, not the largest ones, but like a smaller size watermelon tends to be more um, juicy inside. I find when you buy them already sliced at the store, they have a chance to dry out a little bit on you mm -hmm. and then you're not getting that full fresh taste to them. Yeah. So the one that I had today, when I looked at it, I made sure there was no big dents in it, no big um, brown patches in it at all. And then when I cut into it, you guys look how good that looks. It's mm -hmm. like bright pink and delicious. And one of my colleagues passed on. Ooh, yes. I really wish I had some of that. You know, it's just not the same as you get that kind of like chalky taste when it's pre-cut sometimes. It's yeah, we don't want that. So one of my colleagues also recommended looking for a yellow spot on the underside uh, as a sign that that watermelon has been sitting in the sun in the field. That, that watermelon is going to be good to go if you see a little yellow spot on the underside. Um, last question for you, Michelle. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about those cutting boards you've been using all night? Yes, these are the flexible cutting boards. They are worth, they're not expensive at all. And they're so worth it. You get them <laughs> out of three. Um, they're small and there's large. I'll get some green ones to show you because we have so many of them. And these do come in a set. They do come in a set of three. So this is the larger size here. Um, this is actually a newer set that I have. So they look brand new. So this cool. is an older set that I've had, I think for like six or seven years. You can see that. <laughs> them that's how often we use them these are the smaller size so you can like the difference in size there you go and they do come in a set of three they're beautiful colors um and what's really cool about them something that a lot of people don't know when you first get them there's like a film on the back of them oh look this one still has it on because i haven't actually used this one so it's perfect to show you take the film off oh yeah I've had customers that'll get them and then they wash them and they're like, my cutting board's falling apart. And I'm like, oh no, it's not. You have to take that off because what it allows it to do, once you take it off, if I can get that again, go over here. Then you get that nice sticky side and it's going to sit on your countertop and it's not going to move. If you oh, keep film on, it moves around. That's awesome. Take the film off. I might need a new set just because it's so satisfying to pull the film off. But <laughs> I know, I didn't take that. <laughs> anytime I get new electronics or something, that's my favorite part. <laughs> um, all right. Well, thank you so much, Michelle. Thank you for uh, your expertise and your, your leadership tonight. Uh, and congratulations to our winners. Uh, we'll be in touch with you to get your shipping information, to get those products in the mail for you. Uh, we are grateful. It's been a great month of June. Can't believe it's already time for July. So I want to invite you to join us for more food and fun next week. As we kick off July, we'll be back in our test kitchen from our home office with Sandy. She'll be teaching us how to make a party worthy grilled strawberry pie on cast iron and a white chocolate raspberry blended coffee using the deluxe coffee machine. It is going to be delicious. So join us next week from our test kitchen and we'll have more summer giveaways as well. So for all of that, again, we want to thank you for joining us. We'll see you around. Enjoy your holidays. Have a good night.